We're back to some death trap. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and get moving. Now I did, um, I was intending originally to do this as a blind playthrough. And, uh, I had made it through map three here, Forest of the Fallen. And, you know, I just couldn't stop playing, but the wife got home, I couldn't keep recording, and I wanted to play, so I actually went on and checked out the next few maps. Right now, we are on map number four, though, which is Bottomless Pit. Now, let's see if, uh, if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> and, uh, it's been about a week. I had a very long work week. And just stuck to the tablet gaming during the week because uh, I was working so much. But anyway, here we go, map number four. As you see, so ancient and powerful. we've got two possible, we've got two entrances and two paths coming in. So we're going to have to defend both of those. And I took this strategy of uh, trying to set my turrets up places that covered two lanes, like for example... You know, that's a darn fine place for a gun sentry right there. At least want to get the AoE upgrade on it. And then, you know, on that same note, it's a pretty darn good place right here, too. And let's see, we need some goodies over on this side. And right here... Actually, this one would be the best. I'm definitely going to have to upgrade... Uh, upgrade these turrets all the way. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put another here. I didn't do much as way of upgrades, so let me go ahead and... I'll at least get one of these guys so pretty squared away turrets. here. Couldn't max it. Actually, I could max it. Awesome. So we're all set. Let's get moving. A lot of running around on this one. Get him into turret range here at least. Some more baddies coming up from the back. Let's go ahead and put the freeze on them a little here. How many waves we got on this one? We got four waves this map. Let's see if I can just help out a little over here. So I'm um, thinking a lightning pillar here may be decent. Should at least help anyway. And let's see, what do I want to do? I want, you know, obviously I want to get these things upgraded, but I wanted to get a basic, uh, a basic idea of what I wanted my, how one of my towers to be set up. And I think it's actually coming along nicely here. Make sure these baddies over here are going to get wrecked. Oh, yeah. Now, I think it's crucial to get this lightning pillar upgraded here. At least get the range going. That's pretty awesome. There we go. So we got one more maxed out tower. These rock golems are pretty tough. But it looks like the magic damage does good on them. Alright, so I got 340 left to spend. And let's see. I've actually got this side is starting to get squared away pretty nicely. 
I got more uh, upgrades on those towers than anywhere else. So let me come come over here and get this bad boy all juiced up. That's juiced up. Yeah, let's go ahead and lay down the lightning there. I know I'm gonna gonna want it there. Get that range upgraded. Right, so I'm going to have to be careful right here, too. I think this wave. The defender is here. Do you see where me? they're coming from. Coming from both sides right out of the gates, but... i got to use these damn ink portals more. That's uh, one thing I have failed to do in this game, is take proper advantage of the ink portals. Get into range. I want all that extra essence. Ba boom! I'm definitely uh, pretty stoked to see where this game goes. Now, I gave it very high marks right out of the gates. And, uh, you know, coming from the same developer as Van Helsing and everything is just pretty awesome. But I haven't gotten into this game as deep as I should have yet, as I think uh, it's going to be lots and lots of replayability. I've gotten some uh, comments about the game of some people that are doing well with it, and I'm excited to get up to where they're at to see the bad assery that they are seeing. It just really didn't seem like it saved me all that much time. <laughs> now, obviously, I went the two closest, the two closest ink portals there. They're all buff, and that one is all buff now too, which is nice. slow is just I don't know every episode so far I've raved about it but having uh, the all the CC is pretty awesome on the Sork we'll have to see uh, of course how how awesome that is farther up the road there See, so I think all the gun sentries I have now are fully buffed. I'm so proud of these traps. Nice. Getting built out pretty decent. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems here this next wave, but let's check it out and see. Right there is probably an ideal place for a gun sentry too. I'm out of essence. A little last resort there on that side. So I should put a last resort on the other side as well. Chilly, chilly. I like the source abilities, and I have been. Uh, I started another playthrough too that I could just do on my own and have fun but I'm not 100% certain which uh, which character I want to play we got baddies pretty easy so far that but that Probably is in part because I've leveled up a little bit too. Uh, from doing those other maps. This isn't. Uh, this no longer is the first look playthrough. As uh, I can't. I like the game too much. I need to. I need to play it. And of course, uh, you know, since the wife kind of tells me how it is with my uh, gaming and recording 
I can pretty much play games non-stop. She's come to terms with that. But she doesn't want me talking to the internet <laughs> as it's going. It pisses her off while she's watching TV or whatever. Not really, but uh, she's always, uh, if I tell her I need to get something recorded, she's always cool about it, but she would prefer that I not. Well, that Rube's all champion that got his ass beat already. And he didn't make it anywhere near me. This map is pretty easy, but it is kind of cool. It gives you the first, uh... The first one where you really have to focus on, uh... Two defenses, or two sides, at the same time. Now, where do I want to go now? I guess I could put... Or, I wanted a last resort for this side, is what I wanted. The traps are ready. Here we go, last resort for that side is set. So I think I'll actually be good here now. We will see. This is it though, wave four. The old Cobalt Deep Miner Champion uh, does a little better against the magic damage here, it looks like. Or maybe it's the gun. Let's see, what's that gun hitting for? Well, it's popping off the 80s pretty quick, but I'm hitting for 400 every time I hit. Ba bam I don't think my lightning is actually making it over there. It's all good. Definitely getting the job done here. I already got half of the last wave burned down and it seems like it just started. Almost half. There we go. Now we're well below the halfway mark. Yep. Well... That lightning completely roasted that whole wave from that side. Uh -oh, they're coming up, uh, they're taking the shortcut. Now there it would have been quicker, I think. Yeah, you know what, it's got to be, it's way quicker. I just got to get in the habit of using those damn ink portals. Quit being so lazy. Although, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. It, uh, I don't like... Using the middle mouse button to set the traps. It, I don't know. I don't know why. I guess I could always probably change that key binding. I'm whiny about the middle mouse button. Prefer to use it for scrolling. <laughs> like that, so you know what I'm saying. Oh, this is gonna be over quick. It ended up being uh, way too easy since I went ahead and got a level there. Yeah, obviously I'm doing it on normal mode, so not too difficult there. But my first playthrough through, I wanted to uh, really appreciate the game, so I will be playing it uh, on as many difficulties as I can. Jotun, Jotun. Dude. Uh, that's right, this guy, uh, he freezes your towers, you gotta shoot him and knock the ice off, you know what I'm saying? And then he shoots that shit at you, now that stuff hits hard. Um, on the sorceress anyway. And there it goes, freezing the tower. So you gotta bust through that wall of ice, not too difficult. And homie's getting his ass beat down now.
Ooh, is he getting a buff? Doesn't matter. Dude ain't gonna make it unless some uh, random magical healer pops up. Yes, I knew I could do this. And there we go. That was level number four. Let's see if we got any fat loot, copper threaded belt, the legendaries. Oh my god. <laughs> fun as hell this game is. I can't wait to uh, get to the point where I can do the endless maps and uh, just get leveled up and get some of the cool shit. There's uh, definitely a lot of... A, a big RPG element to the game. Which, uh, you know, how awesome of a combination. RPG and tower defense, I mean, come on! Anyway, that was the bottomless pit. That's level number four on normal mode so thanks for watching uh, click that like button please subscribe to the channel what do we got next where's five there it is the crystal vaults coming up next thanks again we'll see ya